Hey everybody, it's Chad here from CNR Reviews. First of all, I'd like to apologize for any background shooting that you hear. There's a competition going on at the high power range at the range that I go to. But um, I'd like to do a first impressions video. Uh, we're up here at our pistol range and I have a Glock 26 that I finally broke down and purchased. This is going to be my new carry gun. Uh, this is the 9mm Glock 26 subcompact. Um, I ended up putting a couple uh, grip extensions on the mags. It came, this is the Gen 4 and it actually came with three mags, which is really cool. I've heard that they're going to stop, that they're going to stop doing that with the Gen 4s. Uh, this is just a Pierce grip extension for my pinky. I know a lot of guys say, oh, I don't need it, whatever. Um, you know what? It really stabilizes the gun and I will not shoot without it. So, um, this doesn't add any type of extra rounds or anything that's not a plus one, it's not a plus two, it's just a grip extension. So what we have set up is we have a seven yard target for defensive shooting and that's all the one we're going to shoot at on the video. I do have a 50 footer and then we also have a 25 yarder set up that I've been practicing on. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to demonstrate a defensive uh, situation, 21 feet, seven yards. That's an 8 inch target, that would be a head, or a torso, or stomach, pecker, whatever you want to shoot at. Aim small, um, miss small. That's right, Gibson aim small, says. miss small. So we're going to see how this shoots. Um, I have already shot a couple rounds out of it just to make sure that you know it's, it's functioning properly. Um, but uh, as far as first impressions go, it's a Glock. And I, when, I was, when I was going to purchase it, I had asked them about the XDs, because the Glock's $100 more for the Gen 4 than a uh, three inch XD. And every single per store I went to and every single person I talked to said get the Glock. Uh, the XDs are great and fantastic, but the Glock's the Cadillac and everybody else is mimicking it from Ruger to everybody else. And I'm a huge fan of Ruger and I'm a huge fan of Springfield, but I really like the Glock. So let's go ahead and get ready to shoot. My little safety glasses and... Now this is actually saying something about him liking a Glock because when he first started shooting, couldn't stand Glocks. Yeah, I actually hated the Glock and I ended up buying the Ruger P95 with the polymer uh, frame at the bottom and the stainless slide. And I wasn't really too impressed with that either because the gun is so heavy, especially that top slide, the gun would almost kick back kind of funny. So, uh, after, but you know, my very first gun ever shooting was a Glock 19 and uh, I was extremely accurate with that gun, and I didn't really realize till later on that, for some reason, I just really like Glocks. They actually shoot really well. I want to hate them. I always say that, uh, just because everybody likes them. But um, there's a reason why everybody likes them. And if you don't like them, you need to try actually try and shoot it. So let's go ahead. This is a ten rounder. That ten round in there, shooting a cellar and bellet, 115 grain. It's the cheap ammo. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see how it functions. It's got the normal sights on it. You can see that, just normal standard Glock sights. I haven't put anything on there yet, uh, but I probably will in the future. It does have a white line underneath it. It's not a three-dot combat sight. It's a white line uh, with, a, with a dotted sight in the front. So you're ready, so. Ryan? Seven yards, 21 feet. Uh, you just kept hitting that one section, huh? And there's 10 rounds, guys. And you know what? When I first got it, I just gave this a light scrubbing down. From most guns that I've purchased, this is the very first one I've actually, uh, when I've taken it apart, it wasn't really dirty. The barrel was actually pretty clean. Um, the gun had, had a couple spots on there that, that looked like some fingerprints. That's all. I mean, it didn't take much cleaning. I lightly lubed it with some Remington Rem Oil, and it has functioned great. So there you go. That's a defensive situation. We're going to do some longer shots with this. And I know, uh, you know, Hickok 45 and a couple of those guys, they go out really far. You're talking 80 yards or something like that. Unfortunately, um, with this camera and stuff, it's kind of hard to see that with a pistol. So we may do that in the future. And uh, actually, I want to throw a thank you out there because the main reason why I bought this was because of uh, Nut and Fancy and Hickok 45 after watching their reviews. So 
Uh, anyways, this is Chad from CNR Reviews. First impressions of the Glock 26 and shooting demo. Thanks a lot for watching.